Good morning, folks. We've got severe weather, outlooks, top news, and more, but we're starting with our star because the solar flaring is back. Let's go to spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star. After the second of the central filament destabilizations, the sun got very quiet on the Earth-facing half. No sunspots, no eruptive behavior, but alas, on the GOES X-ray flux we do see one C-class elevation of the flaring index. This came at the eastern limb, sunspots still out of view, indicating that we should have those sunspots in view again soon. Nice ionospheric excitement visible on the DRAP during the flare event. It was not large or anything, but anything is relevant in this minimum period of the cycle. Eyes on it. Meanwhile, if you want to watch what happens to the coronal hole structures here after the filament destabilization, looks like the dark patches are shrinking, perhaps even all the way to coronal hole evaporation. This is solidified as you watch again in 193 angstroms one more time, dark disappearing. This set of openings will be replaced soon. Up next, let's go to the satellites. Please note as we look at the east full disk followed by CONUS that this site went down overnight. It is the weekend, so there's no guarantee it will get fixed before Monday, so let's enjoy these shots while we've got them. You can see how much lightning populated the massive rain system in the U.S. there. Now let's look southward at the aesthetically pleasing low circling the Antarctic and look how much less lightning is present at that high latitude. Today's Null School run at the end of the video will focus a bit on Super Typhoon Maria, but for now, let's get Himawari shots at the system at mesoscale zoom, even with the satellite jostles. The bubbling circulation and penumbral line should be visible within the structure. The system is heading northeast towards the island chain between Taiwan and Japan. Folks, as barrel in the Atlantic breaks another storm record, we see the same developing from Maria in the Pacific, which has become the top ace event of the year. Top storm report of the last day stretched from Kuwait to Dubai. Heavy rain, strong microbursts, and a thick dust storm. These events happen periodically in this region, but don't usually do much damage to infrastructure. This was a strong one. Let's go to our top science news where Io, moon of Jupiter, an owner of the aurora creating magnetic connection back to the planet, has been studied in greater detail regarding its auroral imprint. I'll take a moment to mention that the moon almost certainly has a similar connection to Earth, we just don't get to have any information on that one. Let's close out with some visually pleasing pieces from Hubble here in their latest release you're supposed to focus on the large cluster, but... It is always the little things that tend to catch my attention. Is that another jet-located protrusion only to one side? Sheesh. Folks, it is Saturday, so our weekly Fly on the Wall podcast is coming up in a few hours for website members. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.